Jade HBL and this is the Infernal Sea. We played yesterday. We played yesterday. Well, probably the best band I think we saw yesterday. Yeah, basically, honest, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Very I'd, mysterious. Very mysterious, yes. as yes. you can see. Um, how'd you enjoy it? How'd you find it? Oh, it was great. Yeah, it was great first, experience. You've been to Bloodstock before, is it? Or? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. fans. Uh, we frequented Bloodstock quite a lot. Uh, and we played four years ago on the new blood stage, so yeah, it's our second time here. Moving uh, up through the ranks. Yeah. How was it playing it. on the Thursday, particularly? Because obviously on the Thursday it's the start of the festival. You're not going to, you maybe not got the biggest crowd down at this stage. Big ask to don't basically get the self stage. And you're the only band on. Yeah. It's uh, it's a prime spot. You know, it's there was five bands Thursday night. Where else is anyone going to go? They all pile into the tent, so the tent for us was round. It's a, it's a great spot. We don't clash with anyone. It's that, uh, it's that, that as well, uh, a bit, because it's a bit different to the other genres that are being played, you know? Sure. You don't get an awful lot of um, black metal, really, yeah. on, that, on the Thursday. No, <laughs> so, no, so, that's, in fact, that's it's really okay. like a, yeah, we're, we're really okay with it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, obviously it's, it's, it's normally seen as the party night, so you come out and you play black metal. But Everyone, everyone's got geared up for it. Yeah. yeah. So, as I was just saying, yeah, you put on a great show. I mean, I think uh, a lot of feedback that we were getting afterwards was that you're pretty much blew everyone away at the night, which is great. Yeah, that's pretty much what we've been hearing. Um, Good to hear. Yeah. I think, what are, it, the, 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 these, you've got quite like a kind of eerie stage set up, you know, with the people that with the lanterns and everything like that. Are they like part of the part of the band, part of the crew, or just people that you brought in? I mean, that's well, quite a like standing yeah. there for like an and out of the kind of the <laughs> lantern up the band. It's like. We class them as our agents of Satan. Right. So we call upon them whenever we need them. Well, because obviously you want to create an atmosphere, particularly in Black Belt, it's all about atmosphere a lot of the time. And that came across quite well on stage. But is that is there more to it? Is that normally is it that stripped down or do you normally have a bigger show going on? I you thought you're on the show? Uh, usually the stage show is uh, fairly simplistic. Um, this was the first outing with the agency. Oh, so really? They will be joining us again in the future. Excellent. This is Buzzstock exclusive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talking of that then, talking about future upcoming tours, I guess, and what we're going to be doing next after the What are the plans? We have, uh, we have a couple more uh, festival appearances. This year we have Mammoth Fest in October. Brighton and then a walk on this festival. So, uh, where is it? That's in York. That's in York. Um, and uh, we have, we will be touring the tail end of the year. Um, and we have a new uh, release uh, coming out this year. New release this year? Has it got a title yet? Date? Not yet. No, it's, uh, yeah. it's coming in winter. So there's no date set as yet, but it's coming out on Apocalyptic Witchcraft. Uh, it's going to be a little, little something uh, before the new album comes out. Okay, so. all right, okay, just like that. So, with that in mind, obviously, lots of stuff's all about, I guess, the future, which is in your know, main stage, you've got your big bands, they come and play, but we've got the new blood stage, you've got lots of what first and Thursday, which tends to be your up and coming as well, and so on, that kind of thing. How does that feel for you guys? Like, the support that you're getting from Bloodstock and, you know, the people that are here who have come to see this in the future and push you up, try and push you up the next stage. Do you, do you get that? Um, how does that feel? It's great. It's a good, you know, great opportunity, great feeling. Um, well, the support of the community from Bloodstock is uh, much needed, much appreciated. Yeah, with that in mind, what, what would you ask? You could ask anything of fans. Do, like beyond the obvious option to buy your music, like things to, to support the scene, particularly in the black metal UK scene, isn't it, isn't one that's overflowing band at the moment. Would you like to see? Attend shows, yep. uh, start bands, to spread the word. In the old days where it was all about trading, you know, mm. tape trading, it was all about getting the name out there. Yeah. I think that needs to be a bit more prevalent within the scene and also because of the internet age, it's it, anyone can go on Spotify and Amazon or YouTube and listen to a track, and they'll listen to it for five seconds, and that's it. It's, yeah. a, it's a throwaway age, yeah. and I think we need that kind of sort of commitment back again. There, there is a lot of commitment in the scene, and I think it'd be nice to get the casual listeners sort of actually taking a bit more time in and getting sort of. 
enthusiastic about the music again. You know, most people that are here are all really passionate about the music, yeah, and it shows. Yep. It's a great community here, and you know, we're all die-hard metalheads. Yep. That's it. It'd be nice to get that younger generation doing exactly what we've done for years. I mean, for that younger generation, that's probably the importance of bands like you coming into the scene, you know, putting on a fresh show, really kind of moving up the ranks of Bloodstock or, or anywhere, you know, so the bands, you know, younger generation see bands to kind of buy into, and I think, you know, bands like Infernal Sea are a, a good place for that. You talked about, obviously, the throwaway age. So how have you found, um, with the rise of streaming, YouTube and all that, do you think it's helping you or hindering you? I think it's helping us in reach a far wider audience across the world because uh, we have a lot of orders from many different countries um, but our followers still buy everything we release which is fantastic yeah. you know but we like to pride ourselves on our packaging and our presentation with everything so uh, yeah we're, we're offering something that's very sought after and collectible to them but yeah. it, the digital age does help but it's we still see bigger sales in a physical place. Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. I think that's one of the things in, in metal a lot of the time that people, we are collectors. Yes, you yes, know, yeah. we, we will I'll download albums digitally, but also we'll buy only while I'm waiting for the CD to arrive yeah, in the post course. normally. So. so, are you here for the rest of the weekend? Are you here all this weekend? We are. What bands are going to be checking out today, tomorrow? Inquisition. Yeah. Uh, you're going to watch uh, our friends in the Foreign Decimation. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh, the Fresh Bands, yeah, Testament, Prayer, all of them bands. Ghost. Yep. Uh, yeah, literally just catch as, as, yeah. Yeah, catch as much as we can, really. Of course, so. yeah. So that's brilliant. Excellent. Oh, great. That's the final seat. Before we go, then, so you guys are on Bandcamp, of course, the place yeah. to be music. Bandcamp, obviously, it's available digitally, right? On yes. Apple Music, Spotify, yep. you name it, the usual stuff. That's right. Yep. Yep. Of course, get over to your Facebook page, or Facebook, Twitter, yep. all yep. the likes. So basically, get over there and follow, like, Infernal C and support this growing this movement of metal in the UK and the world, particularly black metal. As I say, the scene isn't as big as it maybe once was. We don't have huge black metal bands at the moment within the scene, but we've got Infernal C and the likes that are clawing uh, almost at that upper tier. Just need to support. Thank you guys for your Thank time. You. Absolutely Thank you brilliant. Thank you so much.